Introducing the Rock Cloud. The Rock Cloud is a fully functional cloud-based LiDAR processing platform. But it's more than just a LiDAR data processing platform, it's also LiDAR data management, and it's LiDAR data visualization, it's LiDAR data analysis, and it's LiDAR data sharing. Let's take a look at the Rock Cloud now and see what it has to offer. Here we have the home screen of the Rock Cloud. As you can see, I have tons of projects listed here, and inside of each one of these projects, I have LiDAR data, I also have my ground control points, and I have a bunch of other data associated with my projects like PDFs and KMLs. If you want to combine multiple projects and see them over time, simple. Just create a folder and put multiple projects in there and use this compare functionality. Now you can see multiple LiDAR data projects in one view and see them change over time. Let's go back to the main screen and check out the other view. This is the map view. In the map view, we can see all of our projects located across the world. You can zoom in and click on one and quickly go to that project. So let's go ahead and take a look at one project in particular. Let's check out this R1A accuracy report. The first thing we see when we click on this project is we have the map view where we can see the trajectory of where that LiDAR data was flown. We also have all these green pins. Now, these green pins are ground control points that are included in the project. Here on the left-hand side, we can see a quick description of the LiDAR project. This is entered by the user. We can also quickly navigate to see the LiDAR data. Let's go ahead and do that now. So here we have our LiDAR data set. Now, the first thing we see is the LiDAR data colorized in RGB, and we see these red points. These are our ground control points pictured on top of the LiDAR data set. We can actually zoom in and check out one of these ground control points really quick to verify some accuracy. Ah, it looks like there was an awesome aerial target here and that point's located right in the middle, just like it should be. Let's go ahead and zoom back out and check out a few of the other functionalities here in the viewer. On the right hand side, we see this big toolbar, which allows us to do a lot of things like measuring single points, measuring distances, measuring heights, cross sections, and area measurements. The cross section tool is pretty sweet. Check this out. I'm going to draw that line, and then you can quickly visualize a cross-section of that area of the map. Pretty cool. The other tools in this bar allow you to do real-time adjustments to your LiDAR data set. If you need to do a vertical adjustment, you can do this in real-time and see the data set moving as you click the button. Check this out. See the data set moving up? So now if you need to do a vertical adjustment to your data set, it's simple. Just do it in real-time, visualize it, and save the data. No problem. Moving down this pane, we can draw annotations and leave notes for others to come back and view later. See, so check this out. Let's leave a note. I'm gonna call it Note. <laughs> Pretty original, right? Not really. And then we have the Layers feature. On this data set, we had it processed using the Rock Surveyor app, which generates contours, digital train models, as well as an accuracy report with the ground control points. You can see here at the top, we can turn on high for our levels of contours. Now you can see a contour showing up on the bare earth of the data set of the LiDAR data. To verify that the contours are actually on the bare earth, let's go ahead and just show the ground only. So there we go. We can see right there, underneath the trees, all the contours are on the bare earth. To get a better visual perspective, it's important sometimes to move away from the RGB view. Come down to the eye icon, and down click on this and change the material to elevation. Now this view, the colorize, is actually the elevation of the data set. We can change the range here, pretty simply. And then we can come back to the layers tab and turn the trees back on. Now it's very easy to see the LiDAR data is penetrating through that vegetation and seeing the bare earth and the contours are drawn directly on that bare earth. Now, coming over here to the left-hand pane, we have a bunch of other functionalities. And this is where you're actually doing your project management. It's where you upload the projections of your data set. This is the raw data that you uploaded and the projection it's currently in. And then you can reproject it into any state plane, grid, other coordinate system you'd like. It also does vertical datums as well. The project data tab is where you upload your LAS data. Ground control points is where you put ground control points. Deliverables is where you find all the process data from your data set, whether it's the data that you upload in the project data, 
or any of the project data that was produced using the Rock Surveyor, Rock Corridor, or any of the other processing apps in Rock Robotic. Here we can see currently this data set is in a state plane projection in feet and using NavD88 US survey feet height. Now the coolest part about the Rock Cloud, other than the sharing, this is a very cool fact, is the processing. So the Rock Cloud enables you to upload LiDAR data sets and then process it. Let's go ahead and check out what the Rock so Surveyor has to offer. Here we can see the Rock Surveyor, if you use this, you can get ground classified LAS and LAZ, generates shape files of the contours. You also get DBF attribute file format, as well as a DEM in TIFF format. This makes LiDAR processing very simple. You just upload the data, select what you want, and then order it, and you get the surveyed complete results finished and delivered back to you in no time at all. This is really the power of the Rock Cloud. It's to organize your data, it's to manage your data, it's to process your data, and then it's to share your data with your customers, both externally, internally, and share it to the open public if you'd like to do that as well. So that was a quick introduction to the Rock Cloud.